Oh, well, hello. Gosh, I guess it's ready to, to go with our second episode of BCSC in Action. Really excited that we were able to roll out the first one last month, and as we get into to things again and roll throughout this school year, it's going to be a great program. It gives us an opportunity as a school corporation to share the awesome things that are going on in the Bartholomew Consolidated School Corporation. As I reflect upon my first 90 days as superintendent of Bartholomew Consolidated, it's been a really exciting time. Um, I've had the opportunity to leave four school board meetings already. Uh, I've met with many stakeholders within our school corporation, spoke to a number of organizations within our community, and visited all the buildings within our school district. Now, that might not, not sound like such a daunting task, but um, we do have 21 buildings within Bartholomew Consolidated Schools. And if, if you're wondering, 21 buildings, how does that all work out? We have 18 buildings who have student learners in them. And you might wonder about why would he say learners? We are going from infants to adults in regards to the education that we are providing to people in the Bartholomew Consolidated School Corporation District and area. And so we have the 18 buildings. We'll start out, we start off with McDowell, which is a lot of people think of maybe as an adult education center, and it certainly helps with students who attend there from our high school level and maybe just need some different opportunities to, to, as they pursue their high school diploma, as well as adults in our community, including English language learners and trying to, to better understand or learn the English language. But we also in that building have infants and all the way up to preschool age students that we are working with and that's just a really neat thing and then next we have a johnson preschool which is a preschool only building here within our district and then 11 elementary schools and so when you think about the geography of bartholomew consolidated school district we go from taylorsville to the north and we come on down around the city of columbus and we hit rock creek and clifty creek and on down to south side and mount healthy and then within the city itself with Parkside and Richards and Schmidt and Smith and CSA Fadri and CSA Lincoln, 11 elementary schools that we encompass there. And then we go to two middle schools with Central Middle School, pretty new building for us here, and Northside Middle School over on that campus that has so many buildings with Columbus North High School then, Schmidt Elementary sitting next to it, and then of course Columbus East High School. But we also offer a third high school option when we think about CSA New Tech. So, all those buildings from McDowell to Johnson to our 11 elementary schools, two middle schools, two high schools, three high schools, adding CSA New Tech. We have a lot of opportunities for our students, and I think that's been really exciting. And on my visits to those schools, I found that out. I've, I've come to learn in visiting those 21 buildings. I guess I need to, need to add that 18 schools, three adult buildings. We have actually three buildings that have adults only in them, including this administration building, which is where we're filming today's show, as well as our technology building and our transportation and maintenance building. So as I've visited those, I've, I've become very impressed with the Bartholomew Consolidated School System, as I believed I would. I, I accepted this position, believing I knew a lot about the school corporation and how great things were. And I've, again, just been very impressed with the wonderful staff and students I've had a chance to interact with, uh, understanding our administrators a little bit better and appreciating the excellent leadership they're providing to our students, uh, coming to better understand and know the impressive programs we have in place and the opportunities we are providing to our students. And then realizing as, as I look at all of this stuff that we're trying to take care of, that Dr. Quick and our maintenance team did an outstanding job of managing over time 21 buildings and making sure they are well taken care of. Because within those 21 buildings, uh, if I think about these school buildings in particular, our elementary schools average 80,000 square feet. Our middle schools average 171,000 square feet. And our high schools average 509,000 square feet. So over a million square feet in our high schools alone. That gives us 2.5 million square feet to take care of as an organization. That's quite an impressive number. And we sit on nearly 300 acres as a school corporation. So really interesting in terms of me getting the chance to get out to all these schools, try to understand what's going on and seeing how we manage and maintain those. And then again, probably most important to me is beginning to understand the people that work within them and seeing how they uh, are, are doing their job and how we are producing better learners within our system. During my visit to the buildings, I've tried to learn as much as possible. So thinking about these 90 days, it really was important for me to be patient and to seek to understand and that's what I've tried to do. And in, in, in each building I went into, I, I asked really three questions. And the first question was always, what are you most proud of? When you think about your building, when you think about Bartholomew Consolidated Schools, what are the things that you're most proud of? And I received some excellent answers in, in regards to that and have started to frame those up and see how that will work as we further things and look to create a district improvement plan 
to counter that question, I did ask, what are some opportunities for improvement? There were always opportunities. So what might those opportunities be? So I tried to gather those and put them into a spreadsheet and start seeing uh, what opportunities we had. But then I also did ask perhaps an interesting question to our listeners or the, the watchers of our program. What are our sacred cows? What are those things that we're holding on to for one reason or another that are out there that maybe we need to take a, a, a further look at, investigate, and decide whether or not those are appropriate for us? And those that could be a program or, or, or whatever the case might be. And so I wanted to understand that as well as I dig in and, and, and begin the work on a district improvement plan. And so as I analyze those similarities and differences to the responses that I received in visiting the buildings and talking to so many people, not only visiting the buildings, but hearing from stakeholders in our community, staff members in my building and the other adults in our school corporation, um, I, I have formulated some ideas to get us started down the path of continuous improvement, which is something I believe very strongly in. I referenced the district improvement plan, and so we'll be working on that as a district. We already have a, a strong mission and vision in place. We have UDL as our instructional framework, but I'm, I'm interested in getting even more specific in terms of making sure we prescribe specific outcomes that we align our corporation so that with all those buildings I talked about, we understand the umbrella within which we work and we are producing uh, the learners that this workforce, this community uh, expects. Uh, the second piece is concentrating on our district and our facilities. With that many facilities, there has to be the constant effort to understand their needs and to take care of them. And so we'll be looking at what those might be and then to understand growth and what's happening in uh, our community. Where is the growth and how does that impact the districting of our students? Because we do have some elementary schools who are at or near capacity and then we have some other elementary schools that have a little room for for growth and could we could add some students so how do we manage that over time with again different buildings popping up uh, new homes new residential areas where are they and how does that affect our districting uh, and then the third thing is public relations and, and hopefully this show that we're putting on uh, is is evidence that we are doing a, a we're working hard on the public relations piece to make sure that our stakeholders fully understand the things that are going on here have a chance to interact with us but not only is this show that will be coming out monthly but also social media and i know we have a lot of people paying attention to this show that follow facebook twitter other social media sites perhaps those are the two we're focusing on right now so i would invite our uh, those paying attention to to seek out our facebook page make sure and like that um, and just type in Bartholomew Consolidated School Corporation, you'll find that easily enough. And then follow us on Twitter as well. And Twitter, our Twitter handle is at BCSC Indiana. And so follow us there. We'll be trying to share news as quickly as possible that's going on within our school corporation. And we'll do a lot of retweeting of things that are happening in the buildings as, as something comes out about a student or a staff member, we wanna make sure and celebrate that. So we'll get that information out. And perhaps most importantly, or at least to some that will think it's most important is the first source of school closing and delay information will be that Facebook and Twitter feed. So we are making those tough decisions. I hope we have zero of those decisions to make this year. But as we're making them, um, we will be sending that information out on Facebook and Twitter. So please like or, or follow those pages. Um, as, as I start to wrap up here and, and I think about moving forward, uh, I, I do want to leave with a message that as a school corporation, we are interested in, in being great. And we want to be a choice organization in that when people are thinking about where do I send my children to school, because there are many, many options, we want them to say it's Bartholomew Consolidated because they can provide the best options, opportunities, and growth uh, potential for my child. So we want that to be the first. But we also want to be, be the employer of choice. So when somebody is looking for a place to work, they will look at Bartholomew Consolidated and say it's a great place to work, and I want, I want to get involved in that. And then lastly, we want to be an investment of choice. So I want our taxpayers, as we are a big chunk of the taxes that people pay, we understand that and appreciate that. We want, when people are paying their taxes or donating perhaps to us in some other way, that they're doing so in a way that they feel good about, so that we are an investment of choice for our stakeholders within our community. We, we hope that we create that trust and belief in our system that all those things, school of choice, employer of choice, investment of choice, can work out. So I look forward to continuing this show each month. Uh, hopefully it's uh, informative to those who are paying attention and uh, appreciate uh, all the support for the Bartholomew Consolidated School Corporation. Thank you.